Hello chess lovers, here is a chess puzzle by Gioacchino Greco. This was created in 1623 and it's black to move and draw the game. Let's first turn on our chess engine Komodo, infinite analysis, and then I will speak about this puzzle and try to answer the question why are chess engines unable to solve this. You can see that the engine is evaluating the position incorrectly. First of all, who was Greco? He was an Italian chess player and writer. He re recorded some of the earliest chess games known. His games all against anonymous opponents were quite possibly constructs but served as highly useful tools for spawning opening traps. Mikhail Botvinnik considered Greco to be the first professional chess player. So why are chess engines unable to find a solution of this puzzle? Chess engines are just brute forces which in a second are analyzing hundreds of millions of positions. The evaluation engine assigns a positive good or a negative bad value to any chessboard position. And accordingly the engine is programmed that if this position occurs do this or that. Otherwise they are stupid but hard working machines. I call them stupid because they even analyze millions of silly moves which a normal chess player won't even consider. So it all depends how far they can calculate. When it comes to tactics they are perfect. But when speaking about positional chess or any games, along with the calculating depth, it is difficult to find a correct evaluation. So engines must have endgame table bases in order to solve such puzzles. Endgame table bases are pre-calculated databases that hold for every possible position in a certain endgame, whether it is drawn or how many moves are left for a side to win or lose, assuming perfect play. With the help of those, chess engines can simply look up if it is advisable to do a search and exchange or not, as well as how to finish some of the more tricky endgames. Such table bases are available for all positions containing 3 to 6 pieces, counting the kings, and for some 7 piece combinations. The only disadvantage is that table bases are very space consuming and the disk access tends to be slow. Now, what about this puzzle? Did you solve it? As for the engine, it can't see the solution. You see, here are the suggested moves. Rook a1. Rook a1 is true. But after rook f1, it is not calculating to take on f1. But the correct move is rook takes f1, king takes f1, and now a very difficult choice for black. Bishop h3. You are taking on h3 and this is a drawn endgame because this bishop is useless because it's of a, the opposite color of h8 square. That's why this is a theoretically drawn position and these pawns are also useless. By the way, this bishop h3 sacrifice reminds me of Alexei Shirov's move against Veselin Topalov. One day we will cover that endgame as well. But why the computer can't see or solve this puzzle? To understand which moves are good and which ones are bad, you have to know about evaluation function. This function gives the following values to each pieces, pawn 100, bishop and knight 300, rook 500, queen 900, king 100,000. The king must have a much greater value in order not to get sacrificed by the program. So the program won't give up 300 value because it is unable to calculate up to the end. When the maneuvering in an ending to achieve an irreversible improvement takes more moves than the horizon of calculation of chess engine, an engine is not guaranteed to find the best move without the use of an endgame table base and in many cases can fall, fall of the 50 move rule as a result. That's why the engine chooses another line where it keeps its valuable pieces. So what are the conclusions? The engines can only solve this puzzle if they have an endgame table base containing not only positions but also rules. You can see that even in this position after playing bishop h3 the engine thinks that white is winning. 
this much. What other puzzles do you know that computers chalk on it? Tell me please about it. I will publish them with great pleasure. Good luck.